Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you on this look that I'm wearing right now. This look was created based around a palette that I received from Deck of Scarlet. If you're not familiar with them, it's basically a subscription service where you get a full size palette every other month for $29.95. And in the palette, you get a full deck of products that you can use to create a complete makeup look with just adding a couple of your own products. So the palette looks like this and then inside the palette you get three eyeshadows, you get two cheek products, so this one has a highlighter and a bronzer, and then if you lift, lift this other flap right here you get two lip products, you get a lighter option and a darker option, and then you also get two pencils, so I received a eyeliner and a lip liner. So I use pretty much all the products that I'm showing you right now with the exception of this darker lip color to create the look that I have on right now. And um, yeah, I really like the way that it turned out. This highlighter is absolutely gorgeous. It's probably my favorite thing in the palette. You can see it's just so, so beautiful. What I think is really cool about these palettes is that they're created in collaboration with YouTubers. So this palette that I received is in collaboration with Yvonne and it includes a little card and it has information about that YouTuber so they kind of hand select all these colors. And I personally like the fact that it kind of puts you a little bit out of your comfort zone. Like when I first looked at this palette, I wasn't really sure what look that I was going to do. And I can honestly say I wouldn't have put this specific look together if it weren't for this palette. So it kind of makes you think outside of the box and just kind of branch out again of your comfort zone a little bit. So I think that's really cool. And I also like that the lip products are separate or they have a separate like flap than the powder products so that way you don't get like you know that nasty mix up of powder in your lip product so that's also really cool um, so yeah if you want to sign up for this deck of scarlet subscription service I'll put a link down below in the description for you you can skip at any time if you don't like a specific palette or you can cancel at any time with no obligations so that's pretty much all I have to say on that if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look then just keep watching so first I'm taking Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion in the shade Eden and I'm going to apply that all over my lid and then I'm just going to blend that out with a fluffy synthetic brush. Then I'm taking this matte creamy shade from the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm going to apply that as my brow bone highlight. Then from the Deck of Scarlet palette I'm taking the bronzer shade and I'm actually going to be applying that in my crease as a transition shade. To make it a little warmer, I'm going to mix the orange with that same bronzer shade and just apply that in my crease as well. Then I'm going to take this dark brown coal pencil and I'm going to begin drawing in my cut crease. Then I'm taking the dark brown shade from the palette on a small angled brush and I'm just going to go over top of where I just applied the pencil. I'm going to take that same brush and then just kind of diffuse that line a little bit. So I'm just going to take the edge of the brush and kind of pull the product upwards. I went ahead and dipped right back into the dark brown and just went over the line just to thicken it up a little bit and bring it up a little bit higher. Then I'm mixing together the dark brown with the orange and then I'm going to apply that with a pencil brush right above where I just applied the dark brown.
Then I'm just going to take the same uh, blending brush I used for my crease color and I'm just going to blend over top of that. Then I'm going back into that bronzer shade with the orange and I'm going to apply that above where I just applied the dark brown and orange um, colors. Then I'm taking the black eyeshadow from the same Little Rock palette and I'm going to take that on a pencil brush and just apply that in my crease to deepen it up a little bit more. And I'm just gonna kind of keep blending that out without adding any additional product just to kind of blend the black into the dark brown. Then I'm just going to go back into the dark brown shade on that same pencil brush and just apply that right over top of where I applied the black. So you'll see this look requires a lot of going back and forth. I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to these types of looks, so you do have to have a little bit of patience. Um, so I'm going to take the dark brown and the orange and then I'm going to apply that above where I just placed the dark brown color. So everything has a nice gradient effect. So mixing the colors really helps to make, make that process a lot easier. I'm going into just the orange color on a larger fluffier brush and I'm going to apply that um, above the color that we just applied in between the brow bone shade and that color. Then I'm taking MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot on a really small, flat, synthetic brush and I'm going to apply that on my lid. You want to be really, really careful not to go above the crease that we created. You want to make everything look really nice and sharp. And I'm taking the orange color on a flat shader brush and I'm going to apply that on my lid so I'm going to pack the color on and kind of do like a dabbing motion to get the most pigment. Then I'm taking the highlight shade from the palette on a pencil brush and I'm going to apply that as my inner corner highlight. I'm going to take the orange shade on a pencil brush and apply that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go into the brown on a flat definer brush and apply that um, directly on my lash line. And then taking that same pencil brush and just blending those two colors together. I'm taking the eyeliner from the Deck of Scarlet kit. Um, it's this really pretty forest green color and I'm going to apply that directly on my lash line. And then I'm taking the dark green from the palette which matches the liner perfectly and I'm just going to go over top of that pencil just to set it and also intensify the color. Then I'm taking this Perversion Eyeliner from Urban Decay, it's just a really dark black and I'm going to apply that in my upper waterline and my lower waterline. I'm going to take that same flat definer brush and just kind of smudge the liner out just a little bit so it's not a harsh line. I'm taking MAC's Liquid Last Eyeliner in black and I'm just going to apply that on the inner third of my lid and I'm also going to go in the corner of my eye and make a little point. I like to use this one on this part of my eye because it's pretty much budge proof and waterproof and I, my eyes do get watery sometimes. And then for the rest of my liner, I'm using Kat Von D's eyeliner, tattoo liner in Trooper, which is just black. And I'm gonna use that to do my wing. Then I'm applying these Cara lashes. This is a Demi Wispy style, one of my favorites.
Then I'm taking Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm going to apply that on my upper lashes and my lower lashes. I'm going to go into the bronzer shade in the palette and then apply that to my face, so on my cheekbones, temples, forehead, jawline, you guys know. And I really loved how cool toned the bronzer is. It makes it really good for doing things like nose contour. So I went ahead and contoured my nose with the bronzer in the palette. And then I'm going into the highlight shade in the palette on the small fan brush and I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones. This highlighter is so, so pretty. I'm also going to apply a little bit down the center of my nose and also to my cupid's bow. I'm going to apply a little bit on my brow bone as well. Bless you. Yeah, my allergies were really, really bad this day. I don't know what was going on. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the liner from the kit. And then I'm taking this kind of orange peachy shade from the palette. And I'm going to apply that on my lips with a lip brush. It's actually a concealer brush. but um, Then I'm going to take this Kylie lip gloss. I think it's the shade literally and apply a little bit of that on top. And a little bit of MAC Peaches Blush as well. And that completes this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do recreate this look, please tag me in your pictures. I'll leave links down below to all my social media accounts. And if there's any other looks you'd like to see me do, please leave it down below in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I want to thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you in my next video.